the whole thing fit. Wait, is this what being an adult is? I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze finally. So are you shopping for anything in particular? Botox did some work, but we got a bit more to do. few days that I just wanted to share with you guys really quick most of it is from Amazon and there are definitely some like unusual things so for those of you who need a really niche product I've got you the first one is probably the weirdest of them all but as I've discussed many times on my channel I am extra and I peel my grapes and it is a tedious process I don't eat grapes because it's a pain in my ass I really can't eat grape skins I never got accustomed to the texture or the taste thank you grandma for that but I just found out that there's such a thing as a grape peeler this thing is so crazy there's definitely a learning curve with this but I actually really like this this has helped out tremendously if you are super weird like me and you peel your grapes try this out like I said there is a learning curve with it the first couple grapes you're probably gonna just fuck up but once you get the hang of it it makes it so much easier to freaking eat grapes which i know sounds like such a niche small stupid problem and honestly we do it to ourselves but that's where i'm at in life the other thing that i got trevor's been really excited i got these salt and pepper shakers well i shouldn't say shakers they're grinders oh okay it's my first time opening them so i guess they come oh how cute with a little brush little spoon and then like i guess this is to clean it let me take these out so you guys can see them better. But here we go. Here's a little set that it comes with. I love the little mini spoon and the little mini brush. That's so freaking cute. Here are the new salt and pepper grinders. So the cool thing about these is that they are actually electronic. So we don't actually have to like turn them. I think it's just like you push a button or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out later and I'll show it to you guys. But yeah, it's supposed to be like one of those or maybe when you just tip it over, it just starts grinding. I don't know. We'll find out. It'll be a fun adventure. So yeah, that's our new little kitchen gadget. You guys already saw me open this for Secret Santa, but I'm finally going to unbox and set up my new little cereal dispenser. I haven't even actually like opened this yet, but oh, do I have to assemble stuff? No! I was hoping it was just like already assembled in here. Okay, I guess I will do work. Oh my god, there are so many pieces to this. Uh, there's pieces inside? What the hell? Okay, well I will definitely need to defer to instructions for this, but okay. I will set this up and then we will fill it because another thing that I also got was a new order of Magic Spoon cereal. I did get some new flavors. I need scissors. Yay! Magic Spoon cereal. I'm so excited. I refilled, of course, on the cocoa and peanut butter. These two combined 
are amazing. And if you guys don't know what Magic Spoon cereal is, these cereals have zero grams of sugar, but 14 grams of protein per serving. I won't get into it, but they do fit the dietary needs that I have for myself. So I got those because these two combined is amazing. Then I also wanted to try this one. This is their cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream stuff, sounded intriguing. And also I wanted to try their blueberry one. It's actually the one that has the strongest scent. So I'm excited to try this. I think this one's gonna be really good. But yeah, let me go ahead and attempt to assemble my little cereal dispenser and then we'll load these into it. We have assembled the cereal dispensers. It was not without headache, but here they are, very cute. Oh, how is their dog hair in this already? Okay, cool, assembled. I think I'll load in, well, I wanna try the blueberry cereal before I load it in. Actually, I'm gonna sample both new flavors to determine which one gets to go in here. So starting out the cookies and cream. Let me turn you guys towards me. This is an awful angle, wow. What the hell is going on in my hair? Let's, let's do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think that this is basically the frosted one and the uh, cocoa mixed together. Which, why can't they just do that with the peanut butter one? That's like the best combo, hands down. It is. It's those two mixed together. Not bad. Not bad. There's the blueberry. Wow. It smells so sweet. Mm. It's like blueberry vanilla. I like it. Okay. I think I'm going to do this one in here. Will the whole thing fit? Oh, yeah, easily. Blueberry. Wow, these are really big containers. I wasn't sure if like the whole box would fit, but clearly I did not need to worry. So for this one, I'm combining two different boxes. It looks like both of these will fit. This is the peanut butter and the chocolate. So, I need these to mix together. I'll probably have to actually stir it. Oh, mixing? Oh, it actually is. Oh. We ended up with more peanut butter at the bottom than chocolate, so I'm gonna fix that. I don't know how airtight these containers are, so I'm hoping the cereal doesn't get too stale. I am gonna put this in the pantry, so hopefully that'll help it as far as like airflow goes. Okay, that's so cute. How fun. It's like I'm at a continental breakfast every day. I just wanna try to use the dispenser. I wanna see if this one comes out mixed. So I guess you just turn it. Oh, I should go this way. This way's better. Cute! Totally calmed out mix. Okay. I really don't want this right now. I need to eat an actual meal, but that was a fun little test run for right now. Okay, so these little guys. I read up and I remembered. So these are actually really cool. They're controlled by gravity. So whenever you flip it over, it just automatically starts grinding. So I'm gonna set this up. I have to untwist this part and it requires six AA batteries. Luckily, we just went to Costco. And I'm sorry, I meant AAA. Don't know why I said AA. I thought that this was supposed to come with salt and pepper. I'm kind of annoyed. All right, but anyways, batteries are inserted. So I think pop this back on oh oh gosh and wow it like turned on on its own cool i'll we'll just fill up this base we can only do pepper so that's all i have pepper oh no okay well that spilled everywhere oh fill it up 80 percent that is like almost at 100 percent let me Put some back, my bad. I'm gonna call that about 80 and pop it right back on. It's later, making turkey meatballs. It's time to season it. I love this guy, it's so cool. Oh 
and that should be good. Wow. I'm obsessed. A little bit more for, for no reason. <laughs> like, it's like we're living in the future. It's crazy. I never thought that, like, a pepper grinder would bring me this much joy, but wait, is this what being an adult is? Have I made it? In case you were curious about it, here's what the dinner turned out like. I just did basmati rice because I was craving it. And then this is like a lemon parmesan Brussels sprout. It's this kit from Trader Joe's. I just left out the hazelnuts because I don't like nuts in my food. And then the turkey meatballs, which I pan fry. I prefer pan frying to baking because I just like that crust on the outside. But looks so good hello it's saturday and i apologize you guys i cannot find my taller tripod right now so make and do as best we can but we are doing a little date night get ready with me trevor and i are going to be going to dinner and a movie tonight so i thought it might be fun to get ready together i'm getting ready really really early because i want to go ahead and film a video since my makeup's already done for date night right now i'm just trying to absorb up some extra oil that's on my face I'm using the Revlon, like the volcanic oil roller thing. Whenever my face is extra oily, I like to do this and just kind of like soak up as much as I can get. I don't know why I'm breaking out. I think it's just like post holidays. Now that it's like calmed down, all the stress is like showing up on my face. That's so annoying. Going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And I think I'm gonna try a couple tricks to get this makeup to last for a while i'm so sorry you guys about the angle i cannot find my taller tripod not like my big one that i use for filming not the six foot one i know where that one is but i can't find the other one i had like brought it with me when we went to cancun it came back with us i remember unpacking it but i just can't remember where i put it so i have you guys on like my small vlogging tripod so i hope that the angle is okay primer is down and now I'm gonna actually go in with powder. This is like a trick I saw on TikTok where you just powder down after your primer and it'll help your makeup last longer. Your foundation should go on smoother. It is currently like 2.30, maybe three o'clock, I don't know. Yeah, it's almost three. And we don't have dinner till like 7.45, so I just wanna pull out all the stops and tricks to get my makeup to last as long as possible. I'm gonna go in with foundation. Do I wanna use this skin tint? I haven't used this in a while. Oh wait, no, you know what? I wanna use this EXA foundation. That's the primer. Here's, here's the foundation. I did a review on this a little while back. I do like this foundation. I just like, I feel like it needs to mattify a little bit. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I love this stuff. And I'm going to mix in just a drop of the tan just to give this foundation just a little bit of depth because it is a touch light for me as far as like matching my body goes. So that should definitely help out. Trevor's downstairs right now watching Yellowstone. We started watching 1883 because he heard that it was really good and he didn't know that it was actually a prequel to Yellowstone. I told him he could start watching Yellowstone without me. I wasn't like super interested in it, but we do like 1883. It's very entertaining. Though I did watch a little bit of the episode that he's watching right now, and I actually am finding it pretty entertaining, but I just feel like I have so many shows already in my roster that I like want to catch up on. I just started rewatching Community as like my show that I can put on while I'm doing other things or like fall asleep to because like I've mentioned before I didn't want to get tired of Parks and Rec in the office and then also New Girl but I recently just also watched Below Deck Sailing Yacht which oh my god the chief stew in that Jenna one of the worst chief stews I've ever seen and then Trevor and I are almost caught up on regular Below Deck and then I think we're gonna start Mediterranean soon I never thought I'd be the type that was super into these like Bravo shows, but the Below Deck franchise is like amazing. I freaking love it. I can't get enough of it. I do miss Kate a lot though. I mean, Kate was the best Chief Stew. She's like the standard that I set. Every single time they bring in a Chief Stew who's not Kate, I'm like comparing them. The Chief Stew that came in right after Kate, Francesca, I cannot stand her. I personally thought that she was a terrible Chief Stew. I mean, Elizabeth was not the greatest stew by any means. She definitely needs some work, but Francesca, I felt like, just had it out for her. 
no matter what. Concealer's down, I'm gonna start on my brows. So, I recently, if you guys missed the last vlog, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, finally. And I've used this once. I like it so far, actually truthfully, if I'm being honest, I think as of right now, I like my ColourPop Brow Wax a little bit better because my brow hairs are just more stubborn. But I still want to keep giving this a try. I thought that it was going to be a lot more stiff when I first put my spoolie into it. And my spoolie like went all the way in and I was like, oh shoot. It's a lot softer than I anticipated. Oh my gosh. And your spoolie will pick up a lot of the product. So just like lightly brush against the top of it. Here's the brow freeze. I'm using it with this e.l.f. cosmetics brush. And I don't know why, but now there's a residue. I didn't get that this first time. But do you see this? There's like a residue. What's happening? Do I just pick up too much product? So what I do with this is I just brush it up. I let it sit in that position for like a minute. I just feel like the ColourPop Brow Wax just holds a little bit better, like right away with the brow freeze. I feel like I need to let it sit in the position just for like a minute or two versus the ColourPop Brow Wax. It's like I can fully just start shaping right away. But I feel like the Brow Freeze does end up holding better in the long run, so it's just kind of a toss up. I think that that's enough, so I'm letting it just rest in this brushed up position. And now I'm just gonna go in, shape the tops of my brows. Then going in with my next brow pen, going to feather in a few brow hairs. Is this the old one or the new one? I can't tell. And blend out my concealer. But anyways, for tonight's date, we're just gonna do like a classic dinner and a movie. We're gonna go to a restaurant called Kettle Bar. It's like Southern food and stuff, but they have like fish and chips and fish tacos and ceviche and stuff that Trevor can have. We were gonna do sushi, but I was telling him, I'm like, I, since sushi is like one of the few options that he can like have, I was like, I don't wanna get tired of it. So let's just save sushi for like the nights where we need to order in at home and stuff. And then for the movie, we are gonna go watch House of Gucci. We haven't seen it yet. And we've both been dying to see it. I heard that it's like a little bit of a slower paced movie, but I'm hoping I'll still like it. I'm still trying to figure out like what I'm gonna wear tonight though, because since we're doing a movie date, I usually actually like to just dress really comfy for the movies, because if I'm gonna sit in a theater for a while, I just, you know, I wanna be comfortable. I'm thinking I'll probably definitely do leather leggings. That's like one of my favorite ways to like dress up, but still be really, really comfortable, so. Definitely leather leggings, but I just need to figure out a top and stuff. Powder it down, blend everything together. Okay, after I powder in, I usually sometimes go back in with my brow pen because sometimes a couple of these strokes, especially in like this front area, will come off a little bit when I'm like powdering and blending. And then I guess I'll start on my eyes. Ooh, I haven't used this palette in a while. I'm gonna use the Joseph Colors Blushing Berries. Going in with this pink shade first all over the lid next into this shade it's like a sienna almost with a hint of pink to it I'm just gonna blend that into the crease then going into this deep brown I'm just gonna run it along my lower lash line and flick it out just a little bit Oof, I don't know why but it's so hot right now I've been like freezing the last few days. It's been like one of the coldest winters here lately, but today I'm like roasting. I'm gonna put that palette aside for right now and I wanna go in. I'm gonna go into this Natasha Denona palette. This is the mini Lila palette. I'm gonna take this color right here. This one is linen. Then just taking a flat detail brush. I'm gonna go on the lid just wherever there's no dark brown just to kind of fill in the space. I just wonder if I want to make this a little bit more foiled. Taking some setting spray. There we go. And that reminded me, I just wanted to set my face really quick and blend with this before I start going in with some of the other creams. Taking my beauty blender. I'm just going to press the setting spray in. And then press a little bit of powder on top, just in some areas where I have a little bit of texture. Back to the eyes. I saw this, like, trick... 
I think it was on TikTok. If not, it was on Reels. And it was like a model showing how they do their eyes. And I kind of want to try it out. So I'm going to sharpen my eye pencil. What she said to do was draw a line just kind of on the lid. Okay. And also tight line. Just to tie it in. You just kind of want to pull up and out. Kind of behind that lash line. She did it with brown. I'm doing it with black because this is a nighttime look. And also, like, obviously, I'm tanner. Oh, wow, that's, like, super smoky and sultry. I like this. i do the other side. Whoa, it just kind of ruins your flat definer brush, though, so just be aware. I think also because I put on a lot of liner, but... It's a lot of liner stuck in there now. So that is how the eyes came out. Whoa, sorry, there's like a sun flare, but I like it. But I need to smoke out the lower lash line. I actually really like this technique. I want to try it with some brown eyeliner. I just don't own brown eyeliner too. That's the other reason why I use black. But I think that would be good for like every day because you just like do that and then curl your lashes, put on some mascara. I feel like it would look really good. Okay, but just finishing up the eyes, go into the dark brown and smoke out that lower lash line. Go on some mascara just to prep for lashes. While my lashes are so short, I really need to reorder Grande Lash. They are crazy short. Wow, Grande Lash really did make a difference on me because my lashes are like scarily short. Okay, I gotta like reorder that today. I have been lagging. If you guys missed it, I talked about it in a different video. I had a sty coming on a couple months ago. So I stopped using Grande Lash and like basically anything that like touched the top of my eyes except for when I was doing makeup just because I was scared of making it worse. And luckily the sty never fully developed, but I forgot to start using Grande Lash again. Also, I had run out. So now my lashes are totally not long anymore they're literally like so short it's really bugging me going in with some blush rare beauty love wow okay this camera timed out at a half hour so good to know it only records up to a half hour before it shuts off my first time i think i've ever just like let it run for like a long extended period of time set my face again and then highlighter going in with the jacqueline cosmetics Pressed highlighter or accent light highlighter. This one is in Flurries. I think this was a limited edition color though. Do you want to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone? And finally, lashes. All right, lashes are on. Going in with Max Spice. Just gonna line my lips. Then lately, I've been really back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Ashton. So, I'll put that right on top. And makeup is done. I need to do hair. I think I'm just going to curl it a little bit because I actually like the waves that I have going on. I slept on it last night, so I think I just want to, like, define them a little bit. Oh, or should I do hot rollers? I don't know. Let me think about it, and I'll get back to you guys. But... This is the finished makeup. I'm just gonna make this easy on myself and I am gonna curl my hair. I do not feel like pulling out all of my hot rollers. Using my Kristen S two inch barrel curling iron. You guys might remember this from my best of beauty video. So I just wanna keep it like kind of bouncy. So I'm just gonna curl everything from the bottom. And truly this is like the way to work with this curling iron. It even says in the instructions to start to curl from the bottom because it gives more of like a blowout effect which you guys will see in a second i just like want to curl it all let the curl set for a second then you kind of have to like fluff your hair a little bit and then it looks like you just like basically did a blowout and i'm gonna let these curls set for a second while they're setting i'm gonna go in with the bio silk silk therapy shine on spray just to give my hair a little bit of shininess. Then just flip right over. Okay, and that is the hair. Just finished filming my entire bag collection. That was an exciting video, but it took forever. But I, oh my God. 
The lighting is just trash. There we go, that's better. But I am finally gonna pack up my Petite No Way. So I got the Speedy, I haven't been using this one as much lately, but I will say you guys, this bag is the perfect everyday bag. I just feel like too, it just needs a break. You know, I've been using it everywhere. So, wow, I have a lot of lip stuff in here. I guess this is where all of my lipsticks have been. Masks, I have a lens in here. Oh, this is a broken lens, so that's awesome. That was fun to have to replace. Receipts, hair ties, more lip stuff. I mean, God, how much lip stuff do I need? A nail file, which I'll put in that one. Oh my God, and then a ton of freaking quarters, which would have been great to know for laundry. I'm sure I got these for laundry and I just totally forgot. Oh wow, yeah, this is enough for a load of laundry, okay. I'll go ahead and pack her up. It's like bittersweet because it's my first Louis bag. So it just like has a special place in my heart, but you know, can't use it every day. Definitely want to rotate them, let this one have a little break. And she's packed away. I'm so sad, but that's okay. It's like always nice to kind of do this sometimes too, because then you don't use it for a while. Then when you pull it out later, it's like going shopping in your own closet, but without having to spend money, you know? And she's stored up there with the Burberry. But I'm starting to get dressed. I put on this like ribbed, just long sleeve white top. This is old from Misguided, but I'm sure that there's like similar ones. But what I like about this is that's actually like nice and thick. So I'm gonna be able to stay warm. But I wanted to show you guys really quick how I put on my bracelet by myself. Just like a little tutorial for anybody who has trouble with it. What I usually do is I'll lay it where I want it to go. So I like the CD facing up. Then I'll take the chain and grab it with my middle finger because it's the longest so it can hang down the farthest using my middle finger and I let it hang down as far as it'll go. Then using the other hand, I just open up the clasp and then I push this hand forward to dangle down the links until it reaches the clasp, pick the one that I want, and that's it. I've gotten so fast at doing it. Honestly, if you have trouble putting your bracelets on, I would just say practice makes perfect. So we are heading out. This is the outfit. I have on this white misguided top that I showed you guys earlier. And I ended up going with the Abercrombie vegan leather dad pants just because I was going to do leggings, but these I ordered in a size too big and they're actually really stretchy. So they're just as comfortable. I'm on this like long plaid Sherpa, my black Tilston boot Timberlands, and then my Speedy. But yeah, that's the look. And we're going to head out of here to go to dinner. I'm done with dinner. We're walking around. We're both so full. Like, I'm in pain right now. But we're in Home Goods, TJ Maxx, right now. Just kind of walking around while we are, are waiting for our movie. Sir, are you shopping for anything in particular? No. <laughs> anything I can help you out with today? No, you can leave me alone. <laughs> uh oh. Are we buying a freaking arcade game today? <laughs> What? Is that a good or bad price? I can't, I don't know. 2500 I don't know how to price these things. Something tells me <laughs> this couch is broken. I don't know. Just a hunch. I like how you're yawning with the dough. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Target now. Might get some goodies for the movie. No, 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 we can't. No, 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 no. no the gift card's only for you, apparently. Like, we have a gift card and he wants me to get my candy at Target. I only get to use the gift card. Australian liquor. It's the one that you like, but I gave you. Yeah. Like I was craving this. I know. That's like, not recording, is it? Oh, no, no. Why? Nothing. Give me yours. Okay. I didn't do anything that I <laughs> probably should not have done. Here's Trevor's Hershey bar. Oh wait, wait. Let's put a normal one. Let's put a king size. Here's. <laughs> or here's twice the size here's of a king, king size. size. This is. This one is the one that Trevor wants no, to no, get. No, that's not even a king size. I just like the fact that it says giant on it. <laughs> For a giant guy. <laughs> the sweetest part. I met you when I 
could have sworn you were the one for me The things I saw in you became my favorite things to see Never argued, never fought, never had a second thought I was blinded by my love, I couldn't see a single flaw But then it came through, had to try to see a different view Had to take a look at something new, but that was hard to do I was only interested in you, I was paralyzed by love, I couldn't move But now I'm on a new level, winning at the break pedal I just made a promise to myself that I won't settle Yeah, I really loved you, gotta move on Living life well, because life ain't long, yeah You could be my honeybee Can you give me something sweet? This thing you have could give me scars Alright, we're in the theater why are you whispering? Here. And nobody <laughs> here is a habit. Yeah, it's habit. I got a lime ginger ale for my drink. And the goodies I got for the movie. Australian red licorice. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, try it. Like Trevor even likes this licorice. And then I got the Brookside dark chocolate acai and blueberry little chocolate bite things. A little fancier than what you would normally get in movie theater, but you know, why not? If I haven't mentioned it, we're watching House of Gucci tonight, which I'm excited to see. I hear Lady Gaga is really good in it, although your mom just went on and on about how she hated her accent. Everybody hates her accent. <laughs> Apparently, she has a bad like, accent. Everyone I've talked to yeah. says she does a great job. Mm -hmm. Like Everything that's been out there says she does a great job, but mm -hmm. her accent's awful. So we'll report back. Also, Trevor tonight asked me how to use face wash, so I gotta show him that when we get home. But yeah, we'll let you guys know what we think about the movie in case you haven't seen it yet. So, Trevor's gonna learn how to do his skincare. It's gonna be great since you guys can totally see his face. Stop! <laughs> so this is what I got him for Christmas. I swear to God! <laughs> He's tickling me! <laughs> so this is what I got him for Christmas. I got him like a whole skincare. <laughs> Why are you hitting me? Oh my god. I got a whole skincare set from Kiehl's. Stop it! I got Take this. 47. I got this facial fuel. This is a cleanser. Look, see, you've been messing around so much that my camera lost focus on us. And then this Age Defender Power Serum. He needed, like, he specifically needed the Age Defender Power Serum. Because, you know. Botox did some work, but we got a bit more to do. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This was a moisturizer, actually. Wait. Wait. I'm confused on what I got you. Really? Oh, and then this is an eye cream. So I didn't get you a moisturizer, but I did get you. I'm confused on what I got you. I can't remember. It says what moisturizer. Oh, so I didn't get you a cleanser, so you're fine. Actually, this is like really easy, but I would still just like rinse off your face really quick. She was in a hurry, just grabbed anything she saw at the store. <laughs> did. And I was like, you know what? Merry Christmas. Shut up. <laughs> I think I was going to get you one, but I knew you needed the eye stuff more. Appreciate it. Because look at that. I'm so glad they can, can you see show it. them? Can you show them how, what we got going on here? <laughs> Such a butthole. <laughs> Stop. I just showed him. Anyways, so you're, I would just say rinse off. Oh, we're in a drought. What the? Rinse off your face. No, I'm not. God. Anyways, so, why are you moving as slow as humanly possible? So House of Gucci, by the way, was great. We really liked it. Great performances by Adam Driver and Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Or is she credited as Stephanie Germanata when she acts? Who? Is it Germanata? Stephanie know. whatever her last name is. Who? I can't remember. Lady Gaga. Nobody knows her anything else but oh Lady Gaga. Oh my god. It's like The Rock. People try to say Dwayne Johnson and it's like, no, it's The Rock. Anyways, she was phenomenal. So was Jared Leto. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, I didn't even know that it was Jared Leto in the freaking movie. It threw me off. Okay, so... Her accent was bad, though. Yeah, her accent wasn't that great. Dry off your face. You just told me to wash it. Yes, now dry it off. <sighs> Make up your mind. It's not, oh my god, you need to dry it off. It's like wash your face. I thought you have facial wash, no? I don't know. Oh my god. 
So you wash your face first. You have to dry off your face or else it's if you dry. put all of this stuff on, it's just going to come right off. Dum dum. Anyways, so first thing is your little eye cream. So you're going to put this on your ring finger. Okay. So put a little bit on your ring finger and you're just going to dab it underneath. You don't want to pull. That'll Damn. create more wrinkles. Yeah. Yeah. And just keep dabbing it in. Yeah. 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 Spread it evenly between the two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, keep dabbing it until it's fully in. So this one that I got him is supposed to combat dark circles and tired puffy eyes. Although we did learn for yours, it's like, he said fat pockets. Yeah. Just so interesting. So Trevor's got bags under his eyes that are actually fat pockets, but fat again. <laughs> this will still help for the days where it's like you're tired. And I mean, we probably could have done more, but you get the idea, right? Yes. Okay. Next, you're gonna go in with the serum. Whoa, your secret serum. Let me guess. I just dab this on and then immediately so put it off. So take a little bit on each hand and you're just going to press it into your skin. Oh, the top too? Yeah, wherever you have skin. <laughs> on your face. No, oh. on your face. On your face. Because I know you have your beard, so don't tap it on your beard because it's not going to get through. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Great. Good job. Okay. Then next you're going to go in with your moisturizer. And this is a lot of moisturizer, so you should be good for a while. And then I just keep this on? Yes. Or do I wash it off? No, 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 no. None of this you washed off. Oh. You've already washed your face. You've washed off everything on your face you need to. Now you have a clean slate, and that's when you're going to put all your... Stop rolling your eyes. They can't and see I... me rolling my eyes, <laughs> so therefore I'm not rolling my eyes. Stop it. Oh, that's trash all of a sudden up there. Anyways, moisturizer. Why? Why are you doing this? I'm patting you on the back. You're being obnoxious about it and you know it. Well, I was trying to hug you earlier and you're all squirming. Actually, can I cut your eyebrow hairs? They are out of control. No. Oh, more things wrong with me. <laughs> Shut Those up. are mine. I know. So I'm gonna, hiding I'm gonna cut them with yours. This is my nightmare. Why is this your nightmare? Because you can stab me with those. I'm not gonna stab you. Just don't move. Oh my god, so much better. Okay. No, I've been keeping them in here. I thought you know where they are. Yeah. are you, I'm used to they were right here. No, don't put them out on the dis like the shelves. You have Booby McGee away. here, but I can't have scissors. It's cute. No, this is decor. This that is, is boobs. scissors. That's oh my god. smut. <laughs> Stop. Don't put shit on here. This is not Whoa, storage. Whoa, language. <laughs> don't put stuff on here. This is not storage. Then why it's are a there display. toilet paper These are rolls? the storage bins. You just said this isn't storage. <laughs> and you put stuff this, for storage right this there. This is not storage. So if I put it down here, it's fine. You can put it inside the, the basket if you want. I don't want it out. No, I don't want to hear the argument. Put on your moisturizer. So this one, you're just going to... You're just going to... I gotta go for a kiss. You're like, uh. <laughs> No. See, that's, that's what you, the fact As you marriage, have. yes. <laughs> um, so this one, you are going to just rub it into your skin. Let me know if you need more than that. We'll start you out with a little bit. But this, like, like lotion, but on your face. What about the stuff I just dab, dab, dabbed in? Yeah, it's, so that goes on first because the moisturizer is going to act like a barrier at this point. So oh. if you put the serum on top of it, your skin will absorb the serum. Oh. And be gentle when rubbing it in. I am. God, no. You, I can see you pulling on your skin. Did you need more moisturizer or did no, that feel I'm good? covered. All right. So, you're all set. That is your skincare routine. <laughs> so, you're going to do that day and night. <laughs> Putting you guys literally in a candle holder. So, But, yeah, you're going to do this day and night. So, take this all with you. Yes, I am short. We get it. Take this all with you. Put it upstairs. And don't lose stuff. And find out if you have a cleanser. I could have sworn that you do. Boop. 
Anyways, Gucci, I would give like an 8 out of 10. It was 8 out of 10? It was a good movie. I thought it was going to be... I see it as be... an Academy Award contender. Oh, it will be for sure. I thought it was going to be more slow paced than it was, so I was very pleasantly surprised it three at how hours well long. it moved. I didn't feel like it was three hours. Hmm. Like, I was entertained the whole time. They could have cut some scenes out. Yeah, but I was but still not entertained as bad the as whole everybody. Time. I feel like they're getting a lot more hate than they deserve. I thought it was It very was a great movie. I, I liked enjoyed. it a lot. I would say 8 out of 10 as well. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. And we'll see it our, again. That's our official rating. <laughs> the Sarah and Trevor rating system? <laughs> yes. We have to have a gimmick. Why? Because that's how you get noticed. Okay, thank you for your expertise in this field. I'm amazing with my expertise in cinema. I'm talking. Never mind. Just go. Just go to bed. You've done your skincare. Good job. It's cute. You don't even know the lyrics to any of their songs. Yeah, I do. Oh, really? I took you to a Guns N' Roses concert. I've never in my life gone to a Guns N' Roses concert. Oh wait, no. Concert. We went to I've Poison. I've always wanted to go. I'm to sorry. We went to Thus, Poison. You just proved my point. <laughs> we you. went to Poison. My bad. <laughs> Give me my glasses. <laughs> So cold, so baby tell me when you can't come home